Happy Monday, Indie World! This past week has not only been packed for the indie community, but just generally the PC community as a whole. As mentioned last week, Steam began its annual Steam Games Festival, as well as a new Chinese title making top charts within a week. Even if these don't interest you, we also cover our favorite new indie games released this past week. Stick around for that and more as we cover this week's Indie Recap. Steam's annual games festival ran from February 3rd to February 9th this year. From tons of new demos and extras, Steam brings together players and devs to host dozens of playthroughs, interviews, and more. The event doesn't end until tomorrow, so early viewers can still take advantage of enjoying the festivities. For the most of you, however, if you missed out, you will have to wait until next year. Luckily for you, though, we at Zealot News have picked some of our top demos that we love during the event. Little Nightmares 2, a horror platforming sequel where you take on a horde of adult monsters. Letters, a written adventure, a humble game with a unique take on text ventures. Festival Tycoon, a new simulation tycoon game on a concept not attempted before, festivals. And finally, two more that we at Zealot News go more in depth with, Hazel Sky and Gene Forge 1 Mutagen. To find out more about these two, take a look at our articles on ZealotNews.com. Links will be in the description. Has anyone taken a look at the Steam Top Charts lately? If so, you might have noticed a new indie game titled Tale of Immortal. Well, maybe not, it's in Chinese. But this Chinese indie RPG reaches highs of almost 200,000 players at peak hours. Tale of Immortal is an open world game based on mythology, peaking interest of obviously thousands. Such an overwhelming fan base has convinced the developers to work towards creating an English version. While the game is in early access, there is no definite date as to a full release or English translated version. Once any info is released regarding this title, we will make sure to let you all know. This week's Indie Game Watch is Blue Fire. For those who don't know, we at Zealot News try to pick out one indie title a week that viewers should keep an eye on. These titles often do not have a huge following yet, but show promise for future success. Blue Fire easily takes the cake this week, as its cartoonish style mixed with a world full of enemies and characters makes for an interesting take on the platforming genre. Journey through the desolated kingdom of Penumbra and discover the hidden secrets of this long forgotten land. Explore mystical temples where you'll need to master the art of movement to survive increasingly difficult 3D platforming challenges. During your adventure, you'll slash your way through daunting adversaries, encounter survivors, and take on strange quests to collect valuable items. With the news out of the way, time to bring in our top indie titles released this week. All these games have reached the market in one way or another, so if any interests you, they are ready for download. With that being said, Bring on the games!
made it. Uh, it's me, Nina. Welcome to Mammoth Forest. Your job is pretty simple. We just need a close-up of this girl near its stash. I'm sure you can follow him easily enough. Looks like he goes a little further. Can you follow him all the way? Hey, you know how our study seems to be so well-funded? It's weird, right? I hope it's not weird in a bad way. What the... Is that what I think it is? Why would a squirrel stash dynamite and matches? What the ever-loving hell is going on? We hope you all enjoy these titles as much as we do. We put a lot of effort into providing the info on the latest news and releases, so feel free to help us out by pressing that like button. To get instant updates, feel free to follow our Twitter, at Zealot News, as well as checking out our website. With that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic week, and I will look to see you all in next week's Indie Recap.